Yeah, that's that's really, really helpful. And this actually ties into uh, just the tail end of your answer there. I think really ties into this next question from Calvin. Um, and he writes, um, how do we balance the imperative of loving others and the fear of infecting others via social distancing? So maybe what are some of your thoughts on that? Well, well, obviously, I would precursor my um, comments on that with I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a doctor of philosophy, not of, not of medicine. So um, take any medical advice I give with a giant pin pinch of salt. Um, I think my encouragement to you would be and, and what the, the, the ethic of Christians when facing pandemics in the past has been to serve others and to care for others in a way that sacrifices our own lives but doesn't cause risk to someone else's and so when we're making a judgment about um, a, a decision about what we're going to do who we're going to see how we're going to conduct ourselves let the ethic that guides us be service and care for the good of others um, but but not a selfish motive. So um, wear that mask, maintain that social distancing, be prepared to, to give up things that you love for the sake of the old and the poor and the vulnerable, um, yeah, to, to protect them in society. And I don't know if you guys know, but um, at the, in the early church, on the sort of second, second century of the church, there was a huge pandemic across the whole Roman world. And... Um, in, in Rome, it was said on one day over a thousand people died of this pandemic. It was, we don't know what virus it was or plague or whatever they just called it. But at that time, Christians went and and served the dying and many of Christians got the plague, but others were, were healed. But as a result of how the church reacted to that pandemic, Christianity actually spread throughout the Roman Empire. And, you know, it was a real turning point for the church, how Christians loved people. Yeah, that's that's really helpful. And I think if people wanted to read more about that sort of early Christianity that Rodney Stark, The Rise of Christianity, is that that book, if someone's really interested yeah, in reading about, yeah. yeah, 